Chimps aren't the only species with behavioral parallels to humans. Humans have a lot in common with all great ape species, but there are many differences between their behaviors. To help us discern the differences in primate behavior, let's examine the bonobos, gorillas, and baboons in greater detail. Bonobos differ in their genetic material from humans by approximately 1.3%, but they differ from common chimps by only 0.4%, with their genome having been sequenced in 2012. It's been suggested that since they live on either side of the Congo River, bonobos on the south side and common chimps to the north, the two species evolved from a common ancestor prior to the formation of the Congo River around 1.5 million years ago. This is an example of allopatric speciation, a process in which a physical barrier, such as the Congo River, separates the populations and they undergo divergent evolution to eventually become distinct species. Despite its name, the pygmy chimpanzee, or bonobo, is not actually smaller than the common chimp, but is a little slimmer and more gracile, with finer features. Like common chimps, bonobos live in fission-fusion societies, with the main group size generally varying from around 50 to 120 individuals. Group size is slightly larger than common chimps, possibly due to the greater availability of food sources. While being more arboreal, surprisingly bonobos also appear to be better able to walk bipedally than common chimpanzees, given their longer thigh bones and more centrally placed foramen magnum. Although they are more arboreal than common chimps, they also spend a fair amount of time foraging on the ground where they are largely frugivorous. Again, like common chimps, they will, on occasions, kill and eat small vertebrates, including small primates. In this case, however, although more common for males, both sexes are known to engage in hunting activity. In direct contrast to common chimps, bonobo society is based around the adult females who form coalitions. Although an individual male is larger than a female, it is this female coalition that allows females to maintain control of the social group. Moreover, males remain with their mothers for many years, and even in adulthood they frequently look to them for reassurance and support. While bonobos appear to be less aggressive than common chimps, they do form dominance hierarchies in which having a high-ranking mother can boost her son's chances of reproductive success. Bonobos are highly sexual chimps and are frequently studied for their sexual patterns. So here we have included graphic footage to give you some sense of that. If you're not interested in watching graphic depictions of bonobo promiscuity, feel free to avert your eyes during the next two minutes. This footage is included because it is often surprising to see just how intensely sexual these primates really are. Grooming and food sharing occur frequently between males and females, which is not generally the case for common chimps. Bonobos have ranges that overlap with other groups. When two groups meet, they may even combine for a while before separating and going their separate ways. These meetings can often result in sexual relations between the two groups, contrasting with the antagonistic encounters between different common chimp groups that we have already seen. Again, there are records of female bonobos preferentially mating with males that have shared food with them. Given how frequently bonobos have sex, however, this is difficult to confirm. Bonobos have a promiscuous mating system, which, in addition to heterosexual pairings, also involves male-male and female-female sexual activity. Additionally, immature bonobos also take part in such sexual activity. Sexual activity in general is very common in this ape and appears to be used as a means to communicate reassurance, both helping to maintain group cohesion and dispel tension. It has been suggested that the fact that bonobos are less aggressive than their chimp cousins may be due both to the use of sex as a form of conciliation and the fact that groups are led by female coalitions. Despite this arrangement, when it comes to estrus females, once again, like the common chimpanzee, the more dominant he is, the more likely a male is to be successful in the production of offspring.
Gorillas shared a common ancestor with humans and chimpanzees around 10 million years ago and share close to 98% of their genetic code with us. Gorillas are the largest of the primate order with mature males weighing up to 500 pounds. Gorillas are highly social animals, but unlike the two species of chimps, they form unimale groups based around a mature silverback male and perhaps three mature females. Additionally, there are likely to be one or two blackback subadult males, 8 to 12 years old, and a number of youngsters, less than 8 years old. The silverback protects the group from predators and threatens any other mature males that he encounters with the archetypal chest-beating display. Observe the silverback in action. The silverback. This male is so big and so strong that he dominates the rest of the family group. No wonder all the young males dream of one day finding enough gray fur on their back to become the boss of their own troop. But until then, they're happy trailing after their hero like little gorilla groupies. And that's because nothing's more impressive than a silverback throwing his weight around. The mature females form a linear dominance hierarchy with the first one to join the male having precedence. Since he mates with each mature female, he will almost certainly be the father of any offspring produced in the group. A high-ranking female spends more time close to the silverback as do her offspring, a situation that decreases the chances of predation since females are approximately half the size of males. Grooming occurs throughout the group, as is the case for many primate species. Eastern gorillas tend to form larger groups than western ones and may reach up to 30 to 40 individuals. The slightly smaller western gorillas live in groups varying from 2 to 20 individuals. Home ranges can be as large as 30 square kilometers, but unlike common chimps, they do not defend these as territories. Sexually mature males and females leave the group a behavior that may well have evolved to avoid inbreeding. Both eastern and western gorillas preferentially consume fruit, but both will also eat a wide range of vegetable materials such as leaves, stems, and bark. Additionally, they consume invertebrates such as ants, termites, and various grubs and larvae, but unlike chimps and bonobos, they do not kill and eat mammals. Gorillas of the rare western subspecies Gorilla gorilla dili with only around 300 remaining, have recently been observed throwing sticks and grass at humans that were tracking them. While such behavior is well documented for chimpanzees, this was the first time this was observed for gorillas. Although baboons share fewer genes with us than chimps and gorillas, around 94%, some experts have claimed that they provide a better model for human social behavior because they may well have shared similar ecological pressures. When the great African forest shrank between 5 and 10 million years ago, it is likely that the only primates to have left the trees for the newly expanding open grasslands were our ancestors and those of the baboon family. In this way, baboons may be the only other savanna adapted primates. In fact, today, various species of baboons are found in the open woodlands and savanna of sub-Saharan Africa, where early hominid fossils were also found. The classification of baboons has changed in recent years and might change yet again in the future, but currently five separate species of papio are recognized. P. homodryas, also called the homodryas baboon, P. ursinus, or chakma baboon, P. papio, or guinea baboon, P. anubis, or olive baboon, and P. cynocephalus, or yellow baboon. Given that papio homodryas appears to differ physically, with males having a large white mane, and to some degree behaviorally from the other species, some authorities refer to the Hamadryas baboon specifically, and then all of the rest of the species are referred to more generally as savanna baboons. Baboon troops vary in size, from around 15 to over 150 individuals, but in the case of the Hamadryas baboon, they can reach up to 750, in which case there are various levels of subgroups. They typically inhabit a home range of several square kilometers. Their diet is largely vegetarian, but 
As with chimpanzees, baboons will also kill and eat smaller mammals, such as the vervet monkeys. In fact, after humans, baboons are the most carnivorous of all primates. Hunting is mostly, but not exclusively, a male activity, and although baboons are not renowned for sharing their kills, there are documented accounts of individuals donating meat to other troop members. When this does occur, as with chimps, it is claimed that the estrus females are most commonly the favored recipients. Baboon society is matrilineal, that is, social relationships are based around female members of the group, with relationships being sustained over three generations. There are two types of mating systems in Papio. For the Hamadryas baboon, each troop is made up of a number of unimale units where one male has the attention of between two and eleven females, a harem system. In the case of all other baboon species, males generally leave the troop on reaching maturity. Males compete for access to females and there is an overall dominance hierarchy for males in the troop. Recent research suggests that individual rank depends as much on the status of an individual's family within the troop as it does on individual merit. Hence, having high status kin pushes an individual up the rank order. In these non hamadryya species, males and females form parallel dominance hierarchies with dominant males having first access to estrous females. As with chimps and most non-human primates in general, Females in estrus can easily be spotted by the red swollen perineum area, and this signal appears to be attractive to mature males. Dominant male baboons attempt to limit the access of other males by forming consort relationships with females in estrus. This involves following a female around and mating with her intermittently during her fertile period, while simultaneously chasing off other potential subordinate suitors. For obvious reasons, such male behavior is known as mate guarding. While males can show a great deal of aggression towards other males, they do show some care for infants, including protection from other individuals, carrying, and grooming behavior. In some cases, these males may be the infant's father, but in others it is thought that such caring behavior towards an infant might make them more attractive partners for the female who might then mate with them. This demonstrates that Despite being much smaller than the male, female baboons, as in so many other species, exhibit a degree of choice in whom they mate with.